Hey guys, Jason the X for SC and the Slide Powered by Silleaks.com, and this is part six of our San Diego Comic Con Devastator review, and this is Hook. Yes, the final member of the Constructicons. He is a crane truck, and uh, he was like my second favorite, I gotta say, because I always thought Hook was kind of the leader until I, you know, figured out that Scrapper was. So yeah, he's a nice little. Uh, Nice little crane truck here. You got six wheels. It's got a lot of extra bits on them that are going to play, uh, you know, help uh, form Devastator. This is bothering me. <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. But yeah, got a little detail. He doesn't have as much paint apps and stuff. He's got the the yellow caution stickers. We got this little silver ladder there, silver here, and of course the purple and green. But you know, he just seems a little more lacking. He does have these stickers on the side of the crane. There's not a lot to him, uh, comparison-wise. Here he is next to Voyager Optimus Prime, which I think is a good, good scale. Here he is to uh, Voyager Hotspot. But yeah, pretty, uh, pretty cool-looking guy. And uh, let's go ahead and get him transformed. He has a lot of elements to scrapper in him, by the way. So you want to take these and fold them down. He's got those scrapper legs. He's going to unfold here and meet up with the... Get this down here. See, there's a double hinge inside right there. Glad we can at least open this guy up so you can see that. And then you want to take this peg here. And actually, that doesn't peg in anywhere. Huh. Well, it actually pegs in from the side. I'm sorry. This little tab right here is what locks the legs together because he does have a little bit of ankle articulation. So same thing on that double joint, you just bring it down and put it there. He's got some of that... get to see some of that chest chrome again. You want to bring the arms down and fold out the fists. There is no elbow articulation on this guy. I know I, I haven't gotten to articulation yet, but I just wanted to note that. Take the back of the crane and bring it down. You see you got a double hinge inside there. He's going to take it and lock it into his back. The hook will go all the way down to his feet. There's the head. We just bring that around. It's as low as this will go, unfortunately. And here you have Hook in his robot mode. And I told you, these guys are really simple on the transformations. Now, Hook looks really good, though. He's got that box head like you saw on Scrapper. Maybe that's why I like him so much, because he's got a head that's reminiscent to Scrapper. he got a lot of nice uh, chrome on the chest. There's a little connector here that's going to play a part later. Uh, good little Decepticon emblem. I don't like how this is purple plastic here, and this is chrome. It seems like it's broken up a lot. On the back, you know, you got uh, just the same kind of detail we saw. Got some more silver on the legs, which we see, you know. Uh, Articulation-wise, he does have a knee joint. It only goes about that far, almost 90. You got thigh swivels inside the legs. And they'll go out and back and forth. No waist articulation. The shoulders will rotate, and they'll go out a bit. But that's uh, as far as it'll go. These wheels kind of bang right into the top of here. And the head's on a bit of a ball joint as well. So now that we've got the whole gang together, let's go ahead and bring in Mixmaster, let's bring in Long Haul, who we'll just put in the back since he's so big. Let's bring in Bone Crusher, Scrapper, we'll just put him in the middle since he's a leader, and here's Scavenger. So yeah, we got six bots here. Let's take a look at them all together. And yeah, these guys look pretty cool. Very, very good update to G1 Constructicons. I, I'm really glad I was able to get the SDCC exclusive one, especially since just the regular version is so hard to come by. So yeah, that's all of them. They look really good together. Now, last thing, we're going to go ahead and get Hook ready for his robot mode, which we'll probably be doing this on the big time review. I don't know why I took Hook out of here. Okay, so anyway, you kind of want to go back to the vehicle modes. Let's turn the head back around. Bring this up. Bring the arms back in. 
Like I said, really, just really simple transformations on these guys. And that's one thing. This tends to pop out. And I, the reason I really want to go back to vehicle mode is I want to show off the one thing I don't like about this guy. Uh, you've got another tab on the on the knee joint as well. I forgot to mention that one. So, like I said, everything locks together pretty well for some legs that combine with uh, the back part of the crane. So, okay. Now, one thing I dislike is there. here's where the head for Devastator is. Right underneath this panel here. And I can never get this thing to, like, there's a little tab here. And I push it down. And it does not stay down. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I'm, I'm going to bring the head out and just show you. Because you can't really fit it in sideways. I mean, you can try like this. Let's see if turned around, it'll lock in. Come on. Come on, you. Yeah, not even turn around the other way. This just will not lock down. So I've tried it. I, I don't know if it's just me. Or is it just mine? It's... <laughs> of course it works on camera. So apparently the head has to be turned that way. Maybe I had it turned the wrong way, I guess. So yeah, that does lock down. There goes my gripe, okay? There goes the gripe. So anyway, for the uh, robot mode, one of the things you want to do is pull this down. It's going to be a connector when you uh, get him as Devastator. Take this part here and bring it down. Actually, you want to fold back in the fist. So fold his elbow joints down. He does have elbow joints. Why was I say, saying that? Ah, I'm so off site. Anyway, bring this connector down. That's going to plug into that top port on long haul. And you see you've got a double hinge system here on both sides. You just want to take this off of here. Come on. Come on. You're making me look bad. Okay, there you go. It tabs into the bottom. That's why I was having so much trouble. Once you bring these together, it's got a little clip there in the middle. You just clip those together, put this back. Make sure that the, the back part of the leg stays in there. Now what you're going to want to do is pull this out, and there's your first connector. And underneath here, you want to bring this forward, and there's your second connector for the arm. And it's got a little notch right here. You just kind of put the cab back on top of there. You can leave those like that. And right here you just bring the head forward. We've got two tabs up here. And there you go. There's the top of Devastator. And we're going to see that tomorrow in, uh, well, yeah, Friday in a big time review. So we're going to put all of them together. Finally, the journey will be over. So anyway, guys, that's it for me. Uh, this has been Hook, and I can't wait to do the big time review. And you guys get to see me on camera uh, like, you had, like, like you don't get enough already. Anyway, guys, y'all take it easy. I'll catch you later.